Okay guys, today we're gonna have a short video regarding color management. We're gonna see how we can stop using LUTs and start taking advantage of DaVinci Resolve's color management system. So, let's go. We're gonna make this video quite short. We're just gonna scratch a little on top of uh, the iceberg called color management in DaVinci Resolve. And yeah, let's just jump into it. So let's jump into the color page of DaVinci Resolve. And as you can see here in the first example, I am in a DaVinci YRGB color science and I set my timeline color space to DaVinci White Gamut. We're gonna come to that later on. And I set my output color space to uh, Rec 709 Gamma 2.4. And the first variant that I'm going to show you, it's to do color management in nodes. So what we can do then is just to create four nodes to start with. And then we're going to go put a color space transform on node number one. And this is uh, Sony S-Log free footage. So I'm going to put that my input color space is Sony S-Log free. And it's going to go to DaVinci Wide Gamut and DaVinci Intermediate. And still you see barely no difference here. And then here on the output node, we're going to put DaVinci Wide Gamut to uh, uh, and DaVinci Intermediate to Rec 709. Gamma 2.4 in my case here. Let's see if you can find it there. And there you see, now you have, with the help of DaVinci's uh, color management, you, you know, made this log image into a Rec 709 image. And as you saw, I put it into DaVinci White Gamut to that color space. And why did I do that? Well, if we take a look here, um, here you can see the different color spaces that are available. You have DaVinci White Gamut, which is, it's a fictive one that DaVinci made up. You see, it is big. And compared to Rec. 709, which you see here, it's a very small color space. So when you are in DaVinci White Gamut, you can manipulate the colors way more than if you were in uh, Rec. 709, for example. So. Here you can just start working your primaries and then if you need to do some balancing to the skin tones and, and things like that. So this way you come to your result very, very fast and it's extremely powerful. And if we take this clip, this is also an S-Log free clip. And here I'm gonna show another way of color management. So what you can do then is you can right click and you can go to add into a new group and we know this is S-Log and then when you do that you see you have two new dots up here before you only had if you go to this clip you only have clip and timeline but here now you can see you have group pre-clip and group post-clip so what we can do now is we can do this on a group level. I'm sorry, I think it did something there. Yeah, then we can do this on a group level. So then we put a color space transform here. And it's the same. We put in SKM3 Cine. And we put in S log free. And we want this to go to DaVinci Y Gamut and DaVinci Intermediate. And then we jump over to group post clip. And here we go from DaVinci Wide Gamut with DaVinci Intermediate to, in my case then, Rec. 709 Gamma 2.4. There we go. And then now we can go to, to clip here and just, um, we go we can just add like a basic tree there so now you can grade this as if you were doing 
you know, all your regular changes and just having a lot more control. So now you're working, you see your picture as it's supposed to be in a Rec. 709 state, so it's much easier for you to just make the adjustments that you want. You can, of course, if we do like this, we can take this clip again. Now we can take this clip again and put there because then it's not in a, we'll just make it 50% because it's a 50% speed. What you can also do is, of course, add a lot. Um, so you have, this is Da Vinci's S-Log Transform, and I think it's quite a big difference in how they present. We can also have a look at the Phantom Lots. They are really, really good. Then you see, so then you also get to it, but the thing with LUTs, oh, sorry. the thing with LUTs is you have a lot less, you see how fast it clips down here in the blacks when you do things after a LUT compared to here. You really have to pull it down quite a lot before you get to the same clipping. So that's the second way. It's also a very, you know, uh, easy way. Uh, just delete these ones. And then I'm going to show you the third way, which is for some people the better way. But I mean, it's it's very much up to each and every one of you. But you can go into DaVinci YGBC Color Managed. And here you can set all these um, parameters as you want. I usually go on a custom because in this case I'm only having S-Log free footage. So then I'm going to tell DaVinci I'm putting in SGM free Cine. I want my timeline color space to be here again, DaVinci wide gamut to be able to get as much latitude as possible to work with. And my output color space is going to be gamma 2.4. So there, now you see, now we have it. everything is done under the hood. So you don't need to think about it. You don't need LUTs. You don't need to do any node management or anything. So that's three different ways. Uh, me personally, I like working with groups because then I can just group clips together if there's different cameras. Uh, I know a lot of people just work on every clip with nodes. Uh, and yeah, so now, I mean, now we can just remove that one, that one. And then we have this clip. It's the same here. Here we can just go remove it from the post clip and the pre clip. And there we have it. So, I mean, there we have it. It's not harder than that. It's super easy to work with. And once you start doing it, you don't ever want to go back to using LUTs. You can use a show LUT, you know, to, to get the look of something that you want, just, you know, on the end of your workflow. So, yeah, that was it for this video, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe. Uh, leave me a comment if you want to see anything else, because barely this counts as a tutorial, but it's a really changed the way I work. And as I said, I love working with groups. That's the fastest way for me, because then I can work with different cameras in the same timeline and match them to the same color space, which is amazing. So thanks guys for watching, and have a nice weekend. Cheers. Bye.